Guys, welcome to a new video. It's been 11 months since I put out my last uh, video. I know it's been a long time. I've got several messages from people asking me where I've been. Well, long story short, uh, December 22nd of 2022, my daughter was diagnosed with AML leukemia. Uh, she's 35, 36 now. She was 35 then. Uh, the week... Uh, of Christmas uh, she got to feeling real bad and then on that Thursday December 22nd I think it was uh, she couldn't get out of bed she finally got enough energy to get out of bed she, she just felt real real bad we thought she had uh, uh, COVID-19 or something like that so we ended up calling a ambulance for her they took her to the hospital uh, they did some tests there at a local hospital they said they were not equipped to treat her they then transported her to Vanderbilt Medical Center in Nashville where they immediately did some tests and uh, uh, said that she had AML leukemia. Her blood cell count was up to 250,000. Uh, we thought we was going to lose her that day. Uh, her organs began to shut down. Uh, it was not looking good at all. But through many prayers... Uh, God gave her a blessing, uh, a miracle, actually, and she survived it. Um, she was in the hospital for 67 days straight, and then she uh, went into remission. Uh, she still today has to take a chemo pill every day, and then three or four times a week, she has to go to the doctor to get uh, blood transfusions and platelets. And then once every two to three weeks, she'll go back to Vanderbilt Hospital in, in Nashville and have a week long of uh, chemo. And then uh, she'll just start over again the next week. So uh, at this time, they still have not given her the stem cell transplant, which she has to have. Uh, she's supposed to have had it several months ago, but uh, the doctors just keep putting it off, putting it off. So uh, we're still trying to get that all set up and, uh, and uh, get past all that. Uh, so... Uh, that's the reason why most that's mostly the reason why I haven't been vlogging uh, just been going back and forth uh, to the hospital helping her do what we can so uh, so yeah so here we are uh, 11 months later uh, since the last vlog and uh, and uh, just want to let everyone know what's been going on so oh and one other thing is uh, November the month before she uh, was diagnosed with leukemia she bought a uh, Chinese scooter, a 150cc scooter. When she was in the hospital, she said, hey, Dad, I need you to go ride around. It hasn't been started in several weeks. So I went and started and rode around a little bit, and then uh, she eventually just gave it to me. And uh, so, yeah, well, I'm going to take you guys on a little ride this morning, just a short ride through the neighborhood, just a short tee. And also the test, uh, uh, I, I, right now I don't have a way of connecting my camera to the handlebars or anything, so I'm just going to hold the camera and uh, see how that works. And... Uh, if it's too windy, I'm just going to put some music with the ride, and then uh, we'll come back and uh, finish the vlog. All right, y'all, so this is the uh, Chinese scooter that uh, my daughter gave me. It's a uh, just a little uh, 150cc scooter. It'll do about 55 miles per hour, but uh, so far, so good. No issues with it. I've put almost 1,600 miles on it, and when I got it from her, I think it had like 34 or 36 miles on it. She didn't ride it much at all. Uh, she only had it, uh, again, about a month before she was diagnosed with uh, leukemia. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd take you guys on a ride this morning. So, uh, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, I don't know if the wind's going to mess this up or not. If, if it's too windy, then I'll just put music with it.
we're going to ride up here uh, to this park and uh, turn around. They just built some pickleball courts up here and redid this whole area, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like they're out playing pickleball right now because today's going to be one of the cooler days today. It's supposed to be in the upper 80s today. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're them playing pickleball. Well, uh, again, this is a test uh, to see how this works. I'm going to have to buy a, a tester so I can attach this to my uh, handlebars. Right, guys and we're gonna make it some tea here which is very easy uh, get your large saucepan fill it up with water bring it to a boil and then get your six bags of uh, tea put that in the uh, water bring it off the boil put it in the water and let that steep for I don't know 30 45 minutes some people say an hour but I, I found that 30 45 minutes is enough then get your large pitcher uh, put a cup of uh, sugar in it or you can put uh, a uh, a non-sweetener uh, or a different sweetener other than sugar in there and then uh, you pull you pour the first if I can talk today the first uh, uh, pan of water into your uh, container here stir that up real good let the uh, sugar melt real good and then you get another pan of water uh, you let the bags steep in it for about another 10-15 minutes and then pour that back in there and it'll fill it up here to about three quarts or so and you'll be good to go at ice all right guys uh so janine said that she needs to go to walmart pick up a few things so let's go to walmart all right y'all we are now at wally world Hey y'all, we're back from Wally World. Time to unload all this. Yeah, look at that. Ah. All right, y'all. Well, that's gonna be it for the day. I appreciate you watching. I just want to give you an update what's been going on for the last 11 months. Appreciate all you uh, being patient out there with me. Don't give up on me. There's gonna be more videos to come, uh, especially here real soon. So I appreciate you guys. And as always, go for your dreams. Take that leap of faith and jump. We'll see you next time.